Stop settling for dusty looking webcam quality when you can improve it to make it look like you're using a professional mirrorless camera all without having to buy any expensive gear. How can you do it? Well, I'm glad you asked. But first, I wanna give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Nexus Clips. This is an affordable tool that allows you to create engaging short form content in a matter of seconds, saving you tons of time. With Nexus Clips, it can find the most highlight worthy moments from your live streams or long form videos, which you can then edit to your liking by adjusting the start and end times, setting the face cam and gameplay positioning, and even adding dynamic looking subtitles. Once you've edited the short to your liking, you can easily download it or directly upload it to YouTube or TikTok. If you guys want to check out Nexus Clips, feel free to use my link in the description below and use code MIDNIGHT for 10% off. Alrighty, so what webcam will you need for this tutorial? Well, it's any webcam, especially for those of you who are using a cheap webcam or one that might be on your laptop. The software we're gonna do this in is OBS Studio and you can follow along using Streamlabs desktop as well. To add your webcam, you're gonna wanna go to your sources within one of your scenes, select the plus button. We're gonna add a video capture device source. We're gonna name this webcam e me, okay? And then we're just gonna wanna select the drop down and make sure our webcam is selected here. e me smart cam 954K. This is probably one of my favorite webcams because it looks solid and it comes in at a price point under $40. To set that 4K quality, we can just scroll down a little bit, go to the resolution and FPS type instead of using the device default, which should be 4K, but for whatever webcam you might be using, it might be coming in at a lower quality. So go ahead and select custom and then select the highest resolution option that you have available. For FPS, you wanna choose the highest that's available so that you have much smoother quality. Video format, we can keep at any. For the color space, we wanna set that to Rec 709, which is the standard for high definition video. For the color range, we wanna set that to full to get the widest array of colors possible for our webcam. Those are all the settings we need to play with there, and we're gonna go ahead and select OK. And I'm just gonna quickly right click, transform, and fit this to my screen here. Now I realize a lot of you guys might not have the lighting in studio setup that I have. So we're gonna test this out without any of these special things on. So now outside of my desk lamp and the light coming through the side of me here, that's all the lighting we're working with. So let's see how much better we can make this image look. So to do that, we're gonna click on our OBS webcam source. We're gonna right click and then go to filters. And here we're gonna wanna go to the bottom left box where you see effect filters, select the plus button, and we're gonna wanna add a color correction. Select okay. And now the first setting we're gonna adjust is the brightness. So. You're gonna actually probably be surprised here, but I'm gonna decrease the brightness ever so slightly. We're gonna go with minus 0.0100, which I know is crazy. Why would we make the image darker? But stay with me here. We're next gonna add some contrast, which boosts the bright and dark spots to make the image pop a bit more. 0.20 is pretty good. Next, we're gonna adjust the gamma, which enhances the shadows that are in the image. And for me, I'm going to increase this somewhat to about 0.04. If you are not the color of chocolate and have a lighter skin complexion, then I would decrease the gamma a little bit. The other setting we're gonna wanna tweak is the saturation, but not too much. See what happens when you put too much saturation. So you just wanna use this very sparingly, just a touch of saturation to give your skin tone in the space you're in a little bit more vibrancy. The hue you really shouldn't have to play around with unless your camera just looks weird colored. For me, I'm gonna adjust this to negative 0.7 just so that my skin can look a touch more natural. And now if we compare the before the filters and after the filters, you can see that I am much more bright without any real lighting going on here. If you guys wanna be able to make this look like a full professional camera setup, we can add some blur to our background. So to do that, I'll share two methods with you, but the first one here is honestly the best way to do it, and that's using the NVIDIA broadcast tool. You wanna to download this software along with the broadcast SDK sources under video effects for your particular series card. And once you have those installed, you can add another effect filter and then select the NVIDIA background blur filter, select OK. And once you do that, you should see the background blur take effect. I can adjust the blur intensity here, just like so. And having just a little bit of blur between 0.5 to 0.15 is honestly the best way to go. I'm gonna go with 0.10, I like the way that looks. 
select close and you can see how we are looking now i realize not everyone has an nvidia graphics card or you might be using a mac os computer so what you guys are going to want to get is the prism lens application it's completely free to download once you guys launch the app the first thing you guys are going to want to do is select your webcam so over on the right hand side here select the drop down and then choose the webcam that you've plugged into your computer for me it's that emate smart cam 4k webcam from there head over to the left hand side where you're going to see the settings icon right now my webcam is in 1280 by 720 but I want to maximize the quality as much as possible so within this app I can choose up to a 1920 by 1080p resolution and from there I can go ahead and select OK and now to enable that blur effect we all love so much we're gonna go over to the right hand side again we're gonna see the teardrop blur icon select that and that will enable that blurry background which you can then adjust as you need same deal here i wouldn't apply too much blur but just a little bit for it to be subtle now we can go back in obs we're going to add another video capture device source we'll call it prism lens and within the device drop down we're going to want to choose the prism lens that we just modified so that is prism lens one you're going to see it pop up just like so go ahead and select okay now i know you guys probably don't want to have the prism lens watermark here so in order to remove that you're going to want to select and hold the alt key on a windows computer or the option key on a mac go to the bottom of your source just bring it on up just like so you can then blow up your image and set it up exactly how you want to have it so this setup is totally passable but let's turn the lighting back on just to see the difference i do look a little yellow i would say so dealing with that i'll go to my filter here so we'll go back to color correction and within here, I'm gonna reset the hue. And in the saturation, we we literally do not need all that saturation. But these are the new settings I'm gonna set now that I have the lighting way better looking than what we had originally here. There is honestly no substitute for good lighting. The one I'm using here is the Elgato Key Light. I'm just using one of them. I will link it in description below if you guys wanna check that out as well as the cheap webcam here. Now looking good through your webcam isn't the only important aspect to your overall stream quality, but another element is the gameplay itself. So following the same process for how we adjusted our webcam, we're gonna do the same with this gameplay capture card source that I have here. The source is selected, we're gonna to go to filters, and for color correction, these were the settings that I applied. For gamma, I just added a little bit less. So negative 0.05, contrast, I put that at 0.30 brightness just a touch below the normal brightness level saturation just a little bit here too with 0.10 everything else I kept the same an additional effect filter that I added was for sharpen and I only put a little bit on this so 0.05 I honestly wouldn't go over 0.10 because then it just starts to look very grainy but let's go ahead and show what these filters look like now applied close that out and check out the difference in image quality it goes a long way guys just making these little fine-tuned adjustments to separate your stream and your recordings from everybody else's but that's all i got for you guys today if you came to enjoy the video make sure you hit it with a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and watch this video if you want to improve the quality and sound of your cheap microphone i promise this one will set you straight see you there peace